Hi guys, it's Marianne, the Frugal Chef. I want to show you how we grill our baby back ribs. Um, in this recipe, we did half with our um, apple juice, you know, our homemade apple juice barbecue sauce, and we did half with a spicy mustard barbecue sauce. I, I'll make a video on that too, and it's really, really cool stuff. So let's make this, okay? So Peter's going to be taking the membrane off the ribs for us today. You see, he just pulls it off a little bit with a knife and then grabs a paper towel and just tears it off. It's really simple to do this, guys. It's a good step because it will help your meat marinate better. And voila, show them, Pete, what you took off. Right here, not right there. There you go, and there you go. So we're gonna do that with our five racks of ribs and then we'll marinate them. So this is the super secret marinade that Peter has. The, his ribs, I'm telling you, are amazing. So this is just cider vinegar. We're gonna have five racks today. So it's two, he has one and a half bottles about of cider vinegar. Um, and all he's gonna do, guys, is whisk in a, about three quarters bag of uh, brown sugar. This was a two pound bag of brown sugar and he used about three quarters of it, um, of, of brown sugar. That's it. He's just gonna whisk this. He put the ribs in a big pot. We're gonna just pour the marinade over them and let them do their thing for about two hours. So now we're just gonna pour the marinade, as I told you, over the ribs. And we're gonna let this marinate at room temperature. We're not gonna refrigerate the ribs. If you're not comfortable with that, go ahead and cover them and refrigerate them. Okay, our ribs have been marinating for about two hours and it's time to put them on the grill. We're gonna discard the marinade and we're gonna cook these really, really slowly. We're going to cook them for about four hours. Ah, yum. Let's start. So the first thing to do is sear the ribs. So Peter has these racks on, you know, some high heat. The, of course the grill is really clean and he's just gonna sear them bone side up. And then we're gonna put them on the upper rack, bone side down and smoke them for, you know, hours. If you don't have an upper rack like this and you're using a charcoal grill, Go ahead and sear them. And then what you need to do is scoop your charcoal on one side of the grill and, so that you can cook these indirectly. So there you go, that's what you want. You want a nice brown crust on your ribs and then take them off the, the flame. We're gonna go ahead and put a pan underneath the ribs just so that it collects the grease. We don't want flames to come up and burn our meat. We want this to really smoke really, really slowly. For the ribs that we have on the grill, Peter went ahead and put in this little sprayer bottle, he put uh, uh, one part brown sugar for one part vinegar. He just mixed it really well. He's gonna use this to kind of baste the ribs. We'll show you now. So have that ready if, if uh, you would like. If you don't have a little sprayer, go ahead and put it in a little bowl and just use a brush you know, kind of mop it. So we'll see you at the grill. So see, Pete is now just spraying his ribs here with some of that vinegar and sugar. So these ribs have been in the grill, on the grill for about two hours. They have that nice smoky flavor. We're gonna now finish them in the oven. We have an oven heating at 250. What we're gonna do is we're gonna smear half of them with our homemade uh, apple juice barbecue sauce. There's a, a video on that. If you'd rather just use store-bought, go ahead. And the other half with a spicy mustard barbecue sauce. There's also a very short video on that. That's delicious. So we're gonna put, you know, we're gonna go ahead and Peter will brush these for you now. We're just gonna brush them liberally liberally and we're going to cover the pans with foil and put them in the oven. Um, they will be in the oven for at least another two hours. We'll go ahead and put more sauce on them before we're done. Don't be shy with your sauce. And here he's using that spicy barbecue sauce. Oh, if you like mustard, you're gonna like this barbecue sauce. It's good. So like that. Okay, now we're just going to tent this with foil and put them in the oven. We'll come back in about an hour, do this again, 
put them back in and we will serve dinner. These ribs are going to be astonishing. All right, we, these have been in the oven for an hour. Oh my God, guys, I wish you could smell this. It's amazing. So we're going to go ahead and uh, reglaze them with the barbecue sauces and cover them again and put them in there for another hour and then we'll eat. <sighs> yes, yum. You know, the last 15, 20 minutes, we're going to take the foil off so that that allows the 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 barbecue sauce to kind of caramelize for us. You guys need to try this spicy mustard barbecue sauce. It's just ridiculous. It's so good. Check out those ribs. This is the second pan. Oh man, guys, this is going to be some good eats. We're going to eat these with, I made some uh, homemade uh, baked beans and some of that German potato salad. Everything has videos. And, oh, of course, I made some uh, uh, buttermilk biscuits. Ah, yes, yes, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. All right, check these out. Ooh, look at that. We don't even need a knife. Peter's cutting these with a spatula. That's how tender they are. Guys, bon appetit from thefrugochef.com. Come by and see us. Yeah, let me zoom in for those. Ooh, look at those ribs. Bon appetit from thefrugalchef.com. Come by and see us. We have all kinds of recipes that are not in video form. Eat well, my friends, without going broke. And I will see you guys soon. Yummy.